the other day in our um, in our meeting, Skip Allen had shown how to create a seamless texture using a script, but it worked on a defined size. And John Malcolm uh, asked whether or not there was a way to do it for different sizes. And when I was looking at Jeremy Sutton's Paintbox TV videos, he gave the answer when he was talking about how to define patterns. And he mentioned something that I didn't realize you could do with the defined pattern. I knew that if I made an image and I drew on it uh, or whatever I wanted to do, anything that crossed over on the top, bottom, or side borders would then continue on the other side, um, making a continuous image or a continuous line or pattern. But at the same time, I thought, well, why can't it work with this with a picture if I want to make a seamless texture? So I've got a picture of mud that I got from Mayang Textures, and I am going into the pattern controls and doing define pattern. And if I press the shift and spacebar, I can now drag left, right, top, bottom, and you can clearly see the areas that are seamed, where you can see where the image ends and starts again in these four corners. So if I then take the straight cloner, uh, you can also use the, the smooth, or I'm sorry, the soft cloner, but it depends on the kind of image that you have. Uh, with something like this, it's just as easy to use the straight cloner. And all I use is the Alt or Option key, and I click in an area, and then I can start painting on these seamed areas. Now, the trick is to pick up various areas and not clone from one area for very long. Because otherwise, you introduce more repetition into your image. And there is differences in color here. So I want to introduce some of this color into the various quadrants. And just break up not only on the seamed areas, but within the image areas themselves. So that I start to really make this seamless. And as long as you do small areas and then kind of patch them through to each other, you know, it, it really does what it's supposed to do. So I've got the lettering right here, so you know I can just take and go right over that with an area and so that it doesn't look repetitious, come in with a slightly different area in here and break that up. So you want to create um, as much variation as possible. And then all you have to do is just keep dragging and looking for areas right there. I can see some areas that still need some work. Maybe right in here. Because of the nature of the mud, it's very easy to just, you know, take areas all over the place. And again, just keep shift spacebar drag and keep looking at it. 
and you pretty much have a seamless texture now. You know, if that looks too horizontal in an area or a vertical area that's just you know sticking out too much, go ahead, take it up and break it up. Always patch small areas together so that you create another formation that isn't exact as any other place on the image. And there you have it, seamless texture. Save it as texture, use it for a pattern, however you like, but there's your answer. Use define pattern, shift, spacebar, drag around, check for the seams, fix them. And you got it.